Hello, one of the biggest issues people face in Microsoft Excel is when they sort a column and the column has both text and numbers. So I'm going to show you today how to handle this issue and also show you a couple other tips about how to realize what's text and what's values. So I have a list of product codes in column C and if I go and sort this, I'm just do a right click and I do a sort and I'm going to do sort A to Z. So it sorted them, but the issue is this. It always sorts when you do A to Z. I've got numbers prior to text. And how can I tell that? Well, in column C, we've got product numbers. And if I select these, obviously I've got 21 because I have a header row. But look down in the bottom right corner. The minute you get sum and average and max or whatever shows up, you know that you've got values mixed with text. Because if it was just text, I should have just a count as I do right here. So I'm going to do another sort again, just to show you this again. So a couple ways to identify what is text. Uh, one method is to use the T function equals T. If you get a blank, that means that it's a value or a number, but if it shows you the same result that indicates that it's text. That method's okay. I'm going to do an undo. I usually use this one because that method, I've got to add another column. So I'm going to just highlight and I'm just going to use some conditional formatting. Let's make a new rule. Let's use a formula. There's a formula in Excel that I love called is text. Open parent. What I'm, what am I trying to find out that's text? Well, that's going to be cell C2. I do want to stay in column C, so I'm going to do dollar sign C2. That freezes C, but it doesn't freeze the row. What format do you want? It's up to you. Let's just put a green background color. There's everything that's text right there. Watch this. 601A. There you go. Undo. So no conditional formatting. Let me make sure that column's deleted. Uh, clear contents works. Okay. So a column with numbers and text we have now determined is not good, especially when it comes to sorting and filtering and other stuff. So what I'm going to do now is just basically decide I'm going to convert all this to text. So the next thing I'm going to teach you is how do you know what should be text? Product numbers should be text. Social security number, even though it's got the word number in it, needs to be text. My little rule is this. Do I ever need to sum it up or to average it? I don't need to sum up social security numbers. I don't need to average product numbers. The same thing applies to zip codes. Zip code should always be text. There are some states up in the Northeast that start with a zero. If they were numbers, you'd lose them. Same with social security numbers, by the way. Some socials start with zero. So to make all of these texts, I am going to do the text function. Equals text. That is going to be C2, the very first one. Two arguments in the text function. How do you want to format them? I'm going to do three pound symbols, which are just placeholders. So no matter what, I'm going to get text. I'm using the text function. 601, crosshairs, double click. They're all text. I'm going to just call it product two, just to have something different. Make it bold, my header row. Let's go do a sort A to Z. 601, 601A, 742s are working. So everything is good. I would, might as well finish this in real life, copy. And this is going to be a paste values, not a paste. And then I can delete column D. And everything is good. I do want to point out something also. If I go back to my original data, right here. Feel free, thank you for your time, 
feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day.